YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Shelly coming at y'all on this cold ass day. Man, I'm outside of the grocery store. And listen, bro, today we're going to be making some tacos from Chipotle, bro. It's been a long ass minute since I had some Mexican food. Let's pick up these groceries, yo. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm really feeling myself right now. Your boy just got a cut. First off, let's get these taco shells. Bro, I'm tripping. I meant to say tortilla shell, bro. What? We're going to go with these right here. I don't even know what brand this is, but yeah, they look cool, so yes. Yeah, I already see it. I ain't gonna lie, Chipotle's queso is top tier, but we're gonna go ahead and add this one right here. We're making steak tacos this time. At first, I was gonna make chicken, but it's been a little minute since I had steak, so we're gonna go with that. It's cheese time, cheese time. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to decide what cheese I should get. We're gonna go with that Kraft Parmesan cheese. Parmesan, honestly, my favorite. I can't even lie. Bro, trying to pick like the right tomato is so weird. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with this one. This looks like the cleanest one, so fuck it. Got the pico de gallo. This is the last thing I need. I ain't gonna lie, I was giving up hope. I couldn't find it at first, but we set. All right, y'all, your boy made it back to the crib. Got that matagoya. Mata, mata goya. Hey, I ain't never had this before, but I know it's a classic in the Hispanic community, so we're gonna be sipping on that too. And you already know I had to hit him with that guava. That guava nectar, boy, yes. We lit, but you already know it's that time to smoke, so let's get it. Oh yeah, Zostick slapping. I already know I gotta pass out a Zostick. Go ahead and hit the bees my friend. Get that good smoke in the ganja. You straight, man, hit again, hit again. You know that's not good enough, bro. One and done, it is not good enough over here. Puff, puff, pass, you know the deal. You straight, yes sir. I'm trying to think the last time I had Chipotle. I know it's been a good couple months, and usually when I do order from Chipotle, there'll be three tacos, some chips, and some queso, and fuck around and get the bevy. If I ain't feeling tacos, I'ma get a fat ass chicken burrito or steak burrito, fill that bitch up with everything with some chips and queso on the side with the bevy. I'm telling y'all, bro. Chipotle chips, that shit is underrated, bro. They put crystal meth as salt on these chips, bro. This salt, it just is so perfect, bro. And then it got like kind of like a lemon kind of citrusy type of taste to the chips oh my gosh then the queso nigga the case bro don't get me started on the queso bro the queso bro honestly i wouldn't even be cooking this recipe if i didn't find that white queso in the store i'm gonna be real i was only seeing the yellow cheese i didn't see the blanco queso but now i had it and i'm like oh yeah we ready for this we ready for this I don't even know what series this is in the restaurant series. I don't even know what part we at, but we just got to keep going with the restaurant series, man. Definitely got to push them out more. Any recommendations of what y'all want me to make from a restaurant, y'all let me know. What y'all like more? Y'all like Moe's or Chipotle, bro? I fuck with Chipotle. I ain't really never went to Moe's like that. Had it a couple times in the past, but I don't think it really stuck to me to make me be like, oh yeah, this is something I could see myself going to on a regular. Today was a really chill day. Had no work today. Then I ain't gotta turn in no assignments today. Like, let's go. So I was like, you already know I gotta come on the tube and make the vid real quick, you feel me? I appreciate y'all showing the love, bro. I already got niggas in the comments talking about I'm their favorite YouTuber. Like, what? Applause to the crowd, you feel me? Bro, I'm high as shit, bro. I'm halfway through the blunt, and I'm just like, damn, I don't even want to smoke no more, bro. God damn. I'm gonna take one last hit, and I'm good. But yeah, that was a little toasty one right there. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. We back at it, and I'm hyped as Fuck. Haven't had Chipotle in months. I got an onion. I know onions don't naturally come on any tacos, but we gonna freestyle and add it anyway. Y'all see it, y'all see this thing loaded with onions. This is what we want. Next, y'all see got the tamizzi. Let's get the cut in. Oh yeah, y'all see it juicing and squirting and gushing all over the place. All right, y'all see it. Got my water boiling. Got one cup of rice in here already washed off. And let's go ahead and add it in. 
Go ahead and give that a quick little stir real quick. I'm gonna add a splash of salt. Y'all already know, let's go ahead and cover it. Already done lowered the heat, and we're gonna let this whole sit for about 20 minutes. All right, y'all, last got this head of lettuce. Go ahead and chop it up. Yes, sir. And now to the main thing, beef sterling steak, y'all. Let's get it cooking. She finally finished cutting all the steak, y'all. Let's get to cooking, y'all. All right, first we're gonna cook these onions. I got some butter. Let's throw it in. She, y'all see it? I got a little lettuce in there on accident and a little tomato right there. But it's all good. We're just gonna whisk it around, let it do its thing. I'ma season it with some salt. And last, hit it with that black pepper. Oh yeah. Oh. Yo, and last but not least, hit it with that worser sauce, boy. Oh, y'all, this is the one right here. This is the one right here. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Y'all see that color? Spin it around. Bring it to pound town and let it do its thing. Let's go. I'm out of town, thugging with my round. All right, y'all, time to get the steak going. Got some butter. Let's go ahead and throw that steak in. Sheesh. Ain't even been in for a minute and it's already getting that color. You already know, let's go ahead and season this hoe. Let's go ahead and add that salt, black pepper, that onion powder, some minced garlic, and last, that rosemary. Oh, y'all, this the one right here. This the one right here. Yes, sir. Give it a good old mix around. And we're just going to let it sit and do its thing. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Y'all see it coming along, though. Let's get it. Yes, sir, my people. Let's go. It's plating time. You know how we go. Got that lightly warmed, soft tortilla. Let's lay it down. Go ahead and lay down some of this rice. Now I'm put some of that steak on. Oh boy. Yes sir, I see the steam on that hoe. I see the steam on that hoe. I smell the rosemary and all the seasonings, but oh yeah, y'all see it. Got that queso cheese. Oh, it's spilling, it's spilling. That queso cheese. I'm gonna lay it across. Yes yeah, sir, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead. Hold on now, hold on now. I'm gonna go ahead and add that lettuce. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some messy ass tacos. But I don't care, don't care, don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and lay them to tomatoes down next just like that and last gotta add that pico de gallo the pico de gallo and last we gonna add more cheese because why not why not with that craft parmesan sprinkle that on top on top can never snap oh boy y'all see that hold on hold on hold on But that whole stuff, boy. Y'all see it, y'all see it. This the close-up look. Honestly, I mean, I don't even know what we looking at. It's so much. It's so much. They so stuff. But we gonna get into it. Sheesh. Y'all see it? Hold up, let me flip it around, let me flip it around. God damn that boy stuff. See what happens when you make your own shit at home? You ain't gotta worry about this type of shit at Chipotle, bro. You ain't gotta worry about being skimped off by Chipotle if you go ahead and make it at yourself at home. You feel me? Mmm. Oh my god, hold on. Damn, half of the taco done fell out. But hold on, nigga, that stink is fucking gangster, bro. My god, are you kidding me? Hold on. Mm. Oh yeah, that steak got the job done. Perfect seasoning, yo. That rosemary, I told y'all. The steak is nice and juicy. It's a little bit on the dry side, not gonna lie. But the onions and the pico de gallo and the queso, it fixes all of that up. You barely can even realize that the steak is a little dry. I can't even talk, it's so much to handle, bro. Overall, I'm gonna give these tacos I said steakos, what the fuck I'm talking about? I'm gonna get these tacos, eight out of 10. But y'all already know we got a sip on that Mata Goya. Never had it before. I seen it everywhere, but I never had it. Let's see what it's talking about, bro. Hmm. It 
It's like drinking an old ass Coke that's been sitting out. You know how you put Coke in a cup and you just sit it out? That's what it tastes like. But then imagine if you picked up a Bud Light and you poured some beer in that old Coke cup. That's what that shit tastes like. It's not horrible, but it just doesn't go to my appeal. Last, we're gonna move on to that guava nicta. See what it's hitting on. Oh, yo. Oh my God. If this was what pussy tastes like, I would eat it every day. <laughs> I ain't even never had this type of fruit before, but the flavor, insane, bro. Way better than the Malta, bro. No offense to any fans of this, it's just not for me. I'm gonna have to get this whole eight out of 10. I'm gonna get this one a four out of 10. It is what it is.